Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. All right, y'all, today I'm gonna continue my journey on my Char Griller Gravity 980. So today we're gonna be doing some turkey breast. So back during the holidays, I bought some extra turkey breast, had them froze, so I thawed one out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna debone it. I'm gonna have two pieces. We're gonna do these Texas style. So this is the way they do them in Texas. It's gonna be salt, pepper, garlic, rub. I'm gonna put it out there on the smoker. Uh, we'll bring them up to about 130. Then we'll wrap them with some butter, put them back on there till they're done. Uh, I'll probably take some of this uh, breast meat and make some killer turkey club sandwiches with some bacon, lettuce, tomato on a, um, a nice onion roll. So y'all stick around, check it out. This is gonna be good. All right, y'all, the total weight on this turkey breast is eight pounds. This is a big old turkey breast. So what I'm going to do, just to make it easier, I'm going to get rid of this neck section. So let's take my poultry shears, come across it. Come up on this side. see here down on that side it's a big bone in there and then my poultry shears are gonna cut it let's see There we go. I'm gonna break my turkey shears. Got a feel for the seam there. There we go. All right. Got my fillet knife nice and sharp. So I think I'm gonna do with these carcass pieces, I'm gonna smoke these too. And uh, I'll probably use them for uh, beans or something down the road. So, let's see about boning this turkey breast. I haven't done this too often. So let's see if I can do this and still show y'all. So, got my fillet knife really sharp. So I'm gonna start making shallow cuts, follow the bone structure. Let's see if I can do this where y'all can see. Just kind of like filleting a fish. Come on down, follow that bone structure. Here we go. I'm going to come down to the keel of the bone, cut her loose. And that seemed to work out pretty good. So there's one, half. Put it in this pan here. Now let's see if we can get this other half. First half won't too bad. So... Let's see, same thing, follow the bone structure down just like you're filleting a fish. Y'all can see that. Nice shallow cuts. That wasn't too bad. Left a little meat on here. Not too bad. Like I said, I'm going to take these carcass pieces. We're going to smoke them right along with the, with the turkey breast. So what I'm going to do, get rid of the skin. So on everything I've seen about the Texas style turkey breast, they don't cook the skin. 
with the turkey. So let's trim off some of this fat. Come over on this side. Same thing here. Just a little trim. You ain't gotta go crazy with it. So there's one. Bring the other one up. Get the skin off. Just take your thumb, go underneath the skin. Got a little section right there, it's kind of stubborn. Get that off of there. So it looks like the secret to uh, deboning this breast, nice sharp knife. All right. So these are gonna go on the cooker, just like that. All right, looking good. All right, let's get these rubbed down. All right, so what I got here is my homemade salt, pepper, garlic, SPG. So this is pretty much one part salt, one part fresh ground black pepper, and uh, about a half a part of uh, granulated garlic. So let's flip these skin side down. We'll go ahead rub them down so this is what they in Texas they don't use a whole lot of fancy rubs when they barbecue salt pepper garlic so we'll get this underside seasoned up now you can go heavy with this now this is a big thick cut of meat it can take it all right flip it back up And we'll season this side. I don't know if you can see that, but when I made this, the pepper is really, really coarse. It smells really good. All right. Salt, pepper, garlic. That's all we're putting on these. And we're going to let the Char Griller 980 do its magic. I think I'll probably use some uh, straight apple wood on this cook. So, I'm going to get these in my pan. There we go. So, I'm going to let these sit for a little bit while I get the cooker fired up. I will also So I'm going to also take these car carcass pieces, we'll season them up too, you don't need to waste these. So we'll season them all over, inside out, inside out, the more you turn me. Right. So these are seasoned up really nice. So like I said, we're gonna throw these on there just right along with the turkey breast. Now, like I said, we'll use these for uh, beans or something like that. All right, y'all. Let's go get that cooker fired up. Texas style turkey breast in Texas, which we're not in Texas. We're in Virginia. They would use what they call post oak wood. Now, I'm fresh out of post oak wood, so let's come over here, we'll look down in there. I left a little bit of charcoal on the bottom, you can see that. So, I'm going to drop these applewood chunks down in here. And then, I'll put all this charcoal back. course this is Kingsford blue I like Kingsford blue it's very dependable maintains good heat I don't get uh, big heat spikes in the cooker with it with uh, Kingsford very dependable cook after cook 
so. All right. So we got a tumbleweed. So I got a new, something new for my, my slide. Remove before flight. So I put this on here as a kind of a reminder to pull that slide out. So we'll get the slide out. Got a hanger on the back. Make sure the fan door is open. All right. What are we looking like in here? Actually, we need to dump the ash pan. The ash pan's kind of full. Let's go ahead and dump that. All right, got the ash pan dumped. Put that back in. Take our tumbleweed. Stick it up on the shelf. Where's my new toy? There it is. Got my new toy, my little, my little flamethrower here. So let's get that fired up with my new little torch. There we go. Give us about 10 minutes, something like that. I got a new uh, probe, a new meat probe from Amazon.com. This thing seems to be working. Here's the one that came with it. So if you can see this, it's not flickering too much. So the original MP1 probe, which is this one, is at 71 degrees. And the other probe is both at 71, 69. So they seem to be uh, tracking together pretty well. So I'll leave a link for that probe too, if y'all want to get one. It wouldn't be like eight bucks, something like that on Amazon.com, so. All right. All right, so these charcoal should be lit. Been about 10 minutes. So I got to, uh, I have a few pieces more of apple wood. I'm gonna put these in the ash pan. Want a lot of wood, on, uh, a lot of smoke on these on this turkey breast. So let me close the bottom door. All right. Close the top door. Fan just come on. So I'm bringing you over here to the controller. So I think I want to run this and hit the temperature. I'm going to run this about 275, 280, 275, hit the button. Um, you can see that. The vent in the back, all the way open. All right, let's close her down. Now this ain't gonna take no time to come up to temp, but I've said before in my last video, um, this cooker's insulated very well. I didn't get a, I didn't do a good job of showing you this door. I don't know if I can do it now. Let me see here. Come up a little bit. So this door is double wall insulated. The sides, the whole cooker is double wall insulated. So it's well insulated. So it's, my point is, it's going to take a while for this thing to come up to temp. Okay. So once it hits 275, I'm going to give it about 30 minutes. I want the smoke to be rolling. Um, I want the cooker to be at good temperature. And then we'll get these turkey breasts on. All right, y'all, I don't know if you can see that. The smoke is rolling. So we're looking good here. So here's what we got on the app. 275 in the cooker. Rolling steady. It's been about 30 minutes. Smoke is rolling. Let's get these turkey breasts on. So here's what they look like before they go in. They've been sitting for uh, about 30 minutes or so, so the rub's got a chance to get in there really good. So, let's get these on here. Let 
me get you up a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. So, the way these look, let me put them this way, is the way they're going to look when they come out of here. So you want to tuck them up, get them nice and even. So I'm going to take a temperature probe. Put it in this one. I like to go through the side and into the middle of the meat. Pull the excess back out. I'll get my second temperature probe. I'm going to test these out. You can see here, got a little tangle going. Put that on in there. There we go. So I'm going to let these come up to about 130 degrees. Then I'm going to... Um, Increase it. No, I'm gonna actually take them out, wrap them with some butter, and then I'll increase the temperature. Or the, uh, we'll get them. We'll get them done, basically. So, done temperature. I'm looking at uh, 165 or so. So I'm gonna take my carcasses and put them over here. Like I said, those carcasses. We're just gonna use those for beans or something. So let's put these to bed. <clears throat> We'll keep an eye on them on the app. Let's take another peek at the app. So we can see the temperature of the breast is 55 degrees. Cooker temps come up to 260, 270. So we're set at 275. And uh, like I said, we'll get these up to about 130, 135 degrees and we'll Wrap them with some butter. All right. All right, y'all. So, these breasts have reached 130. What we're going to do is take them out and wrap them. So, I got some butter here. Come on now. Don't let the butter whip you now. It's trying to whip me. So, take some butter. There we go. See what we're looking like. Probe out. We'll put it skin side down. Wrap her up. Nice and tight. Wrap it up. Turn it back over, put it back on the cooker. Probe back in. Pull that slack out. Get her closed down. So, let these things come up to about uh, 165 internal. And we'll get them on off of here. All right, y'all. So, this is what we're looking at. Uh, cooker temp right now, about 287. It'll come back down. I just opened it. So one turkey breast is 147, the other one's 149. So we're gonna let this, uh, these breasts come up to uh, about 160 and we'll get them on off of here. All right, these breasts have been on here for about, uh, I don't know, half hour or so. So you can see 62, 63, 64. That's good, that's good right there. 
see what this other one looks like. 58, 59. So these are about there. Feeling good, feeling good. Let me check it again in a different spot. Oh yeah, these breasts are about done. So, as you saw by that temperature, this one's ready to go. We're gonna get this out of here. These little pieces here. Like I said, I'm going to use these carcasses for uh, for beans and whatnot. They're about ready to come out. We'll give this one here a little bit more time. I think. Let me check another spot. Now that one's ready to come out too. So we'll take these in the house, put a towel over them. All right, y'all, so I got some uh, onion rolls here. Got them buttered up. Let's get these toasted. This won't take long at all. This should just take a couple minutes. We'll get these rolls toasted, and then we'll get our sandwiches on. All right, so I'm gonna make me some sriracha mayo to go on my sandwich. Little Duke's mayonnaise. I ain't gonna make a whole lot. So, put me a couple tablespoons of mayonnaise in there. A good shot of real sriracha. About a tablespoon or so. Mix this up. I just give a little zip to my sandwich. what we got so put her on the cutting board it smells really good it's been wrapped up for a while so let's make some slices we'll try to make this kind of thin We'll start our slices at an angle at the little end here. Get it nice and thin. That looks right tasty inside. Here we go, Texas style smoked turkey, or barbecue turkey, however you wanna call it. So let's make some sandwiches. All right then, for this sandwich, got my sriracha mayo I made earlier. Put a little bit of that on the bottom bun, and why not, put some on the top bun too. There we go. Take some nice turkey breast put on there be generous be generous here we go that'll do it fried some bacon up put some bacon on here here we go put a slice of tomato a little bit of lettuce And not a lot of lettuce. There we go. 
a little bit of avocado. There we go. Loves me some avocado. So let's go ahead. Put a little pinch of salt on there. Crack a little pepper. There we go. Let's put the crown on it. Put the lid. There we go. Look at that bad boy. Here, let's see if I can get a good shot of this. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So, let's cut this thing in half. Push down on it a little bit. Open it up. All right, y'all, here we go. Look at that sandwich. Smoked turkey sandwich. So first thing we gotta try is some of this turkey by itself. So there we go. Smells good, looks good. Y'all ready? Yes! Oh my. Nice and peppery. Good seasoning. So, let me see if I can get a hold of the sandwich. Here you go. Call that a smoked turkey club, just for you. But I'll taste it for you, let you know how it is. <laughs> Y'all ready for that? I'm ready for that. Taste! Mm -mm -mm. Ma'am, what you talking about? I believe I might have outdid myself this time. That is good. Oh my. I got the smoked bacon. I'm sorry, the smoked turkey and the smoked bacon. The sriracha mayo. Tomato, lettuce, very good. My goodness. So anyway, y'all, it's dinner time. We're hungry when I'm here. So I appreciate y'all watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit it yet, you know where that button is right there. Just go, <laughs> All right, y'all, we shall see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.